Tommy, you're working with a pretty common material right here, a laminate countertop. Right, Kevin. It's probably the most used countertop out there. However, they can get damaged. Say you've taken a hot pan off of the oven or the stove and you put it on there and you've burned your countertop. Yep, you got a burn here and it also can bubble up like that. That's right. You can replace the countertop or here's a countertop here, for example, that had a, a damage to it. I've cut a hole in it to remove the damaged section and you can buy a cutting board that drops in. You can place it over the damage. So this is just a shallow stainless steel tray. Right, it's fastened from below. And it is a two-part system where you've actually got a solid surface cutting board right and on top. now you can do all your cutting on it and you save the countertop. That's pretty clever and it's a heck of a lot easier than replacing the whole countertop. And it's a lot cheaper. Let me show you another problem that's pretty common. What's wrong with this one? Well, there's no damage on the top, but let's say you've got an edge that's broken mm. free. Well, that happens quite a bit, doesn't it? It does. Well, it's a, this edge isn't cracked or anything, so we can actually reattach it. First thing I want to do is clean it behind, make sure there's no debris. Pass me that hot iron over there. Okay. And we can actually reattach this without any glue, adding any glue, by placing a hot iron on it. Wait, wait so what's actually going to cause it to stick if you're not adding glue? The heat will reactivate the contact cement. Oh, so the cement is actually there? That's right. So after a few seconds, remove the iron and see if it's stuck. Yep, the piece is back on. Well, that was really simple. And now if you're not so lucky and that glue does not re-stick? Well, then you have to apply some new contact cement both to the back of the piece of laminate and the edge of the countertop, mm -hmm. but you want to apply it sparingly because you don't want to get a buildup between the two. Okay, so we don't want to have to see any of that buildup of the glue. Right. Now suppose you have a piece of laminate and the edge is actually missing or broken right off and you don't have that piece. Okay. All right. So now what you want to do is you could go buy a sheet to match it and put that put that in, but that's a four by eight sheet. It can be expensive. So a whole sheet just to replace this one little piece? Right. Doesn't make sense. You, know, you have right. difficulty matching this. So where do you find a piece that would be a perfect match without having to buy a huge sheet? I would look at the kitchen and see if there's some place that I can steal one. Usually beside a refrigerator or a stove. So if it was a refrigerator or a stove right here, I'd pull it out. Mm. I would then get to the edge and I would steal a piece of this edge, cut it off, and put it over here. So you would never see this because it's up against the stove, but how right. are we actually going to get this off of the well, side? I, I first I measure the piece I need, let's yeah. say about eight inches. Okay. I take a sharp utility knife and a square. I mark eight inches. Got that. All right. Now I just take my square and I make a series of cuts lightly. I don't want to cut it all at once because I don't want to chip the edge. So. All right, but once you've actually scored that and gone through the material, how are we going to pop this off? We're going to reactivate the glue with the iron. Just hold it on it, work it back and forth because I want to heat up that whole little piece. Now you want to remove the iron every now and then to see if the piece is starting to come because you don't want to overheat it. Just keep moving it back and forth because you want to heat up the piece evenly. There it is. Wow. That's just All right, now we're going to snap it off. There you go. Wow, that is remarkable. Okay, hold that iron. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the piece around so we can see what we're going to do here. It's a little hot. Watch it. That's right. All right, now I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to hold it right here on the edge where it goes, drop it on, and take my utility knife and follow this edge, again, making multiple passes. So sort of a perfect template. That's right. And I bet you we're going to use this iron again to get that little piece off, right? I think you're getting the hang of it, Kevin. <laughs> do you do windows, too? Uh, no. Now heat up that little piece. Now hold the iron flat. That's right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to move it on that little piece because we, we only have the little piece that we want to heat. You're moving it when you want to heat up a longer piece. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Pops right, right off. off. Okay, be careful not to chip it. Now we take the piece that we took from the other side, put it right in there, and iron it back in, and we're all patched up. 